one of the biggest nights of Art <laughs> Prize. Tonight, the art experts will reveal their top picks. Yeah, the short list. It's made up for 20 entries, the best of the best in this year's competition, and they'll unveil that list right here on Wood TV 8 at 7 o'clock. Marley Ginter will be hosting that special show tonight, and she's live out on the plaza with one of those jurors. Marley? Well, Sue and Brian, such an exciting night indeed. This is what we've been waiting for. We want to know what are the top picks, what you want to go out and see. So joining me right now is a 2D juror, Dexter Wimberly. Dexter, thank you so much for being with us tonight. How are you? Good I'm to sure, be here. I'm sure you've been very busy. It has been a really busy past couple of days, and this is my first time in Grand Rapids. So <laughs> oh, on no. top of that, I've been trying to look around and see the city. Right. So here you are trying to learn a new city, but you also have the not-so-easy task of looking at hundreds of pieces of art. How do you even begin to whittle that down to just a few selections? It's really difficult. I mean, even if you see something that you think you really love, there's so much more to see, so you can't just immediately decide, like, that's going to be the winner or that's going to be on my list. Um, so it's, it's challenging. I wish I had a better answer, but it's really, <laughs> really difficult. No, and I, you know, one thing is, when I was looking at the pieces, there are so many different things to go by. Their colors are amazing. The way the image is portrayed is amazing. But there's also so many messages and so many of the pieces of art. Is there something in there that you look for specifically? Maybe a strong message or trying to get out, you know, something that people need to think about? Um, that's absolutely true. I mean, I, I think that art can be interpreted um, by people in so many different ways. Um, I try to look for art that has some sort of a, a message, even if it's just, uh, you know, something that's, um, you know, heartfelt or something. It could be political. It could be societal. But, um, but ultimately, though, it's about the work being good, being done at a masterful level. Exactly, and that's what people want to see. I mean, you have so many people who are critical of other people's taste and art, and they say, well, why did they pick that one? But there are so many different things that go into choosing these. I have to ask you, because everyone is wondering, I mean, everyone wants to know, okay, what was their pick? Can you give us just a peek into what you picked? I really wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> but something tells me I, um, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, though, what did you like about all the art you got to see? Well, you know, um, I think the, the most um, interesting thing to me was the wide variety of, uh, of um, I guess, perspectives. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that I knew I, knew I was looking at artwork that was being made by people who were, some had, you know, master's degrees, others probably just paint on Sundays. Um, and, and to me, that's fantastic. I think that's what make art, makes Art Prize so interesting, is that you're not just getting one perspective. You're getting this very, very broad perspective uh, on art. Yep, yeah. certainly making it the world's largest art competition. Dexter Wimberly, so much appreciate you being here with us tonight. We'll see more of you tonight at 7 o'clock. You can watch the short list right here on Wood TV 8. Well, you will get to see the jurors pick of the best right here on Channel 8. Back to you, Brian and Sue. All right, looking forward to that. Always interesting to see what those picks will be. Fine-tune it a little bit tonight oh, at 7 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Merle. See you then. Thanks, Marley.